Hello, my name is Mac Hyman. I'm a professor of mathematics, and my research is in the mathematical modeling and analysis of infectious diseases. In these models, we build virtual worlds on the computer to understand how diseases are spreading and what mitigation methods might be most effective in slowing or stopping the disease. In my career, I've worked on HIV AIDS, uh, influenza. Lately, we've been working on the Ebola epidemic in Western Africa and in vector-borne diseases, such as the chikungunya epidemic that's going on in the Caribbean right now. For many of these diseases, the models currently don't exist. And so, as a mathematician, we have to decide what are the right equations that can describe both the spread of the infection and the behavior of the population. So we work a lot on behavior changes. How do we model behavior changes of people in mathematical equations? We have to include the dynamics of the model and interventions. How do we model a vaccine treatment and how effective it will be or whom we give the vaccine to first? Do we give it to school children? Do we give it to public health workers? We can try these ideas out in our mathematical models in ways that might be unethical to do in the real world, but the models can show what works and what doesn't work. Uh, as a mathematician, uh, we prove theorems and lemmas and mathematical results about these models, but our real goal is to try to save lives, to prevent people from being infected or those that are infected to help them get well sooner. And so our work is in strong collaboration with people in the public health community. A lot of the mathematical sciences that we have today was driven by physics. That's changing. Um, now we're being driven more and more by biology. In physics and gas dynamics, gas particles act the same every time we do an experiment. When we model people, this is not the case. Different people react differently. And we have to capture those differences in our models. So we're deriving new equations for the behavior of people in response to an epidemic. We have to include things such as heterogeneous mixing. People spread diseases to other people they have contact with. We have contact with other people that are very similar to ourselves. People typically have contact with people their same age, their same economic status. They live in the same region. We have to build this uh, heterogeneous mixing into the models. Because much of what we're doing is new mathematics, or at least new equations, there's a, a wide range of problems for people to work on, all the way from advanced mathematics to undergraduate mathematics. And so our teams have groups of faculty, postdocs, graduate students, and undergraduates. One of our goals is to get the undergraduates involved in research as soon as possible. And this way it gives them more options and at least a better idea of where they might go with their own career. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've discussed and using mathematical models to understand the world around us, stop the spread of diseases, understand biology, feel free to contact me. Mm -hmm.